Yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, 7482, and I am Professor Buckoff, your English 106 instructor here at California State University, San Bernardino. I just read your second writing assignment in my writing class, and you scored, according to the rubric, 74 points out of 100. So the main thing is, with yours, really what, what made it really difficult for you, you actually could have scored a lot lower, but you did have a lot of, you had a good polish, and you had a lot of good ideas, but you just didn't develop your ideas enough. So this assignment, if you look into the syllabus, this is a three to four page assignment, and you basically wrote two pages. So what could you do? So I think when you get to the second part where the writer convincingly interprets a hidden or explicit message from the cartoon, that wasn't very convincing. And even when you're explaining the boxes in part one, like you did in the first couple paragraphs, right when you get done there, you can state what you think his theory is and then move on to the second part of the assignment, which is to include or interpret a hidden message of his ideas. So it just wasn't developed. And in the last part, when you got into the Tom's, the Tom shoes, I think you could have developed that a little bit better also. For example, you said is the Tom shoes, they were portrayed as a style, but when I'm reading what you've written, I still have no idea what these shoes look like. Are these athletic shoes? Are these tennis shoes? Are these running shoes? Do they come in various colors? Do they have shoelaces? Do they have a tongue in the front of them? What kind of sole do these shoes have? And so on. So you really gave no description of the fat at all. So, and even, it isn't exactly clear why you followed this particular fad. And to me, that was absolutely the centerpiece of the third part of the assignment. So why did you decide to follow this particular fad? And how does that compare with what Durst says in the cartoon? So there were just a lot of different things that you just, for whatever reason, you did not include, I think, in your essay. So overall, though, you had a good polish to your ideas, no doubt, but you just have basically an incomplete writing assignment. So you scored 74 out of 100. All right, so let's work hard on this next one. Uh, be really careful on this final project. You want to make sure that you have the minimum number of pages required to complete it. For example, the assignment you just did was a page short, so you definitely don't want to do this on the final exam. All right?